Atika Green here, actress, producer, poet, content creator. I'm a creative baby. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, where I'll be talking about challenges that I've faced as someone that's pursuing the entertainment industry and just moving to Los Angeles, challenges within that, posting some of my performances, and I'll make you laugh a little bit too. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get into the video. So today I wanna to talk about how I almost missed out on my first national union commercial. Irresponsibility and lack of motivation in an interesting way. Not to say that I haven't been feeling motivated, but it's just something there because why would I mess up like this? When y'all hear what happened, then y'all gonna be like, yeah, she, she done messed up. <laughs> All right, tag after the union for television artists, radio artists, um, the whole nine yards, it's all connected. Look it up. It protects the artist. They have certain wages that you make. Union benefits, obviously, like in a union, that means you get residuals from your performances. It's, it's a move, it's a step up if you're someone that is chasing a career. I am chasing a career as an actress. Not chasing, but aligning with it. Changing our words, okay? <laughs> I had, when I moved to LA in 2016, I was SAG eligible and then um, from like this web series that I did in New York. And then I got to LA and I started to book things and I booked um, a role on Insecure, on uh, HBO's Insecure. The link, y'all can check it out right here, <laughs> but it's in my reel too. But I link, I booked that. And then uh, in 2019, I booked a co-star role in the new show that just came out, Them, on Amazon, right? So th these are some, some 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 names you know some things making our way but either way when i did them i became a must join so when i was must join um i had to like pet up the money from like up front the, the initial fee and it was like three thousand dollars and i had people help me out and some people had like donated money to me etc and i paid i think a thousand or something like that at the time 1200 whatever it was that i had raised so then that happened then the pandemic hit i didn't get to pay the dues for them you know, they, they kind of give you dues within the time you work. I'm still figuring out everything that I know it works something like that. Either way, I messed up. So I actually signed with a new agency this year and then I booked my first gig. I'm like, yeah, I'm union, but I know I need to pay those dues. And I just, the pandemic happened, things happened. I wasn't on it when I say irresponsibly. I feel like I should have just paid it at certain points, but I was like, I, you know, the industry is closed, let me, you know? But when it popped up, I was like, dang, I wish I paid. So when I found out I booked, I realized that it was either I pay or I don't get to go on set. And <laughs> that would have been the worst news to, have, to hear, especially after not booking since 2019. Not to say not booking at all, but any union credit. That is not to say I haven't been booking. These are the things we work for. We work for the bigger, bigger roles, bigger jobs. I found out I found out on 9th of April, I think, that I was on, I was pinned for the commercial. After that, my agents was like, okay, you're pinned. I was like, okay. But I saw that I was first available, so I knew it was a chance that it could be me, which would be dope, right? Then I think it was on that same, no, not the 9th, I'm sorry. I think it was the 7th or whatever, like a couple of days before. And on the 9th, this is when I was like, this is the Friday before the 12th and the days for shooting were the 12th through 15th, which was that Monday through Thursday. You know, I don't know which days I'll be on set, but I knew it was next week and I knew that I needed to pay um, almost $2,000 in order to get on set. And I knew I had to be cleared by SAG and I knew I wouldn't be because I didn't pay anything. <laughs> I literally panicked. I literally panicked. I tried to call to see if I can get a loan. It wouldn't work. And it was just kind of too last minute. Those things were a quick turn were in a quick turnaround. So I had to wait a few days and I didn't really have a few days. I needed to be clear on Friday just in case they said Monday take your COVID test, Tuesday, let's go on set. And that's literally what happened. So I went out to SAG, you know, puddles like tears, my eyes are red, bloodshot, like I've been crying all day. I was like, this is like this can't happen. I don't know. I tried, it worked everything I could, it didn't work. And I literally started to feel defeated. And I knew I had till 4.30 because the SAG office closed that time. I was in the SAG office from noon to 4.20 and nothing changed. And then I spoke to a friend of mine and we have this group chat, it's called the Money Team. Shout out to the Money Team. <laughs> We're just uplifting to one another. We, we have money manifestation parties and things. And everybody's doing well. And I'm really proud of everybody in that, that group. By the way, I reached out because I really didn't know where else to go. I had asked my family and my family actually 
had helped me raise about $800. Shout out to my family, I love y'all. Which was amazing. So I still needed that extra grand that I was like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. And my family at this point, we're like, all right, God got something else for you, it is what it is. And I, I had that feeling too. And I, it was for me more so it was because I just signed this new agency for me. So I didn't wanna have anything like that happen. I'm about to leave, I'm talking to my friend and she's like, you know, well maybe all of us could like, Raise, get $200 each and da, da, da. I don't know something it was just it was right time right place my other friend chimed in we did like a group FaceTime and he was like yo I'm gonna send it to you I was like you serious I was already like boohoo -hoo teary I was like are you serious like start crying I just I'm super emotional but either way a shout out to my homie I don't even know if I'm gonna say you the one gave me the money but you know who you are I love you <laughs> like you know and I was like oh yeah that person gave me money um but you know who you are I appreciate you so much I appreciate the money team I appreciate my family I appreciate the tribe everybody who always just all of y'all anybody who just even the, the encouraging words I'm appreciative of that that energy is amazing but because of that collective effort I was able to go on set for my first national uh union commercial and it was amazing y'all like dream come true and from that moment on I knew that I knew I couldn't play this game anymore. And and not to say that I hadn't been working hard on my dreams, but I felt as though there was something missing, but that money, whether it was coming out of my pocket, quote unquote, it was coming out of pocket to people that I love, people that I know who care about me, people who work hard for their money. And people only give money to the things that they believe in. You know, so them investing in me made me feel believed in, you know, that people actually see it too. It's not just me. So because of those people and everybody, I'm not giving up. <laughs> in closing, what I learned is that you don't have to do everything by yourself. And sometimes you can be very proud and um, prideful and that that's where you fall the most because it's not about it's not about asking the person, people or whatever for things or, you know, expecting them to give to you. But it's just knowing that Karma is a real thing and the way the world works. So if you're a good person, you're giving out good energy, you're doing good things for people, it's gonna come back to you in that same way. And people really wanna do things for you and continue that same energy, you know, it's consistent. <sighs> so yeah, that's how I almost missed out on a SAG National Commercial. Um, but I did it, I did it, I made it this time, okay? And we, and we never gonna be there again, okay? Not for but yeah, thank you guys for um, tuning in. Remember, subscribe if you feel the vibe. Follow me on Instagram for updates on other things. Always be yourself because um, who, who else you gonna be? <laughs> All right.